children today we are going to learn the field mouse poem from class 2 okay children have you seen the mouse where you can see the mouse okay you are seeing mouse in your kitchen where the waste materials kept the store room and in the field okay today we will go we are going to learn a beautiful poem about the field mouse okay first stanza where the acorn comes down where the ash tree sheds its bed with your fur so soft and brown with your eyes so round and merry scaly moving the long grass field mouse i can see you pass okay here the poet is explaining the poet is telling where the where is the field mouse the acorn turns down acorn means oak nut trees oak oak trees nuts where they are falling down where the mouse is there the poet is telling where the acorn nuts fallen down they you are there girls skin fur skin means fur means skin so soft the field mouse skin is so soft and it is brown color the its fur is so soft the mouse color is brown your eyes is so round and merry when the acorn nuts is saw me its eyes is round and merry in eyes it is looking happy scaly or moving in long grass it is moving too slowly in the long long grass the poet is saying you are going too slowly but i can see you there the poet is saying you will, you will be there i i can see you second stanza little thing in what dark dell little thing in what dark dell lie you all winter sleeping till warm weather comes again then once i can see you peeping round about the tall tree roots they blink at their fallen fruits okay how is the mouse the mouse is very little the small mouse is very small but it is saying it dark then dark means uh, black black then dark then then it is sleeping in winter season winter season it is sleeping it is not coming outside to search the food because outside the cold weather is there so it will not come in winter season it will come when warm will come no that time it will come warm is summer season summer season it will come and peeping from the tall trees it is seeing peeping from the tall trees and nibbling a smaller fruit nibbling means small small bites nibbling means small small bites peeping from the roots third stanza field mouse field mouse do not go where the farmer stacks his treasure find the nut that fallen below eat the acorn at your pleasure but you must not steal his grain he had stacked with so much fame again the poet is telling to mouse field mouse field mouse don't go there where it has to don't go don't go near the where farmer stacks and means keep the bag one after one like this one after one stacking stack the farmer's his treasure what is the farmer's treasure from farmer's treasures are pulses grains okay don't go there because he has to take lot of effort to stack the grains he has to take lot of pains so you don't go there don't steal don't steal the grains you have to eat whatever fallen fruits whatever fallen fruit you have to eat and don't steal the farmer's treasure okay last stanza make your home where the mosses spring underneath the tall oak trees shadow pretty quite harmless thing play about the sunny meadow keep away from the farm and house none will harm you little mouse in last stanza the poet is telling where he has to stay and where he have to make his home 
the little mouse you have to make your balls where the sh oak sh shadow under the net the sh oak sh shadow will come no under the net you have to make your house under the oak tree okay no one will disturb you are making that house means no one will disturb you and eat whatever fall on fruits eat fall on fruit don't go near farmer's house don't go near farmer's house you have to play in sunny meadow the wastes flowers are there that uh, near there we have to play no one will hurt you no one will disturb you field mouse field mouse you no one will harm you little mouse okay now let the children what is the uh, mouse color what is the color of mouse yes the color of mouse is brown color what is the farmer's treasure the farmer's treasures are grains Okay, today we have to learn two stanzas. Memorize and come. 